What's up coders, it's Maitland. You read the title. Today we're gonna to learn how to use dependency injection with an Azure Functions project. Let's just jump right in. The first thing I'm gonna do is just create a brand new Azure Functions C Sharp project. And then with this, I'm gonna just have a HTTP trigger just for example purposes. I'm gonna make sure the authorization level is anonymous just so we can call it straight out of the box. Now that we've got the template created, just like every other ASP.NET Core or, or just a modern host builder project, we're gonna create a startup class. And inside that startup class, we're going to derive from functions startup. By using the control.fullstop shortcut, we can actually ask Visual Studio to suggest NuGet packages. As you see, I chose the Microsoft.Azure.Functions.Extension project. And then using the magical control.fullstop operation again, I can automatically implement all the required methods for function startup. And then for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna create a services folder with my own frisky little service inside it, my injected service. Then from here, we're gonna go back to our startup and add it as a transient service. So we can actually utilize it in our dependency injection engine. And then back into the templated function class, we're gonna rename that to HTTP function and convert it from a static class into a regular dependency injected class, which accepts my injected service. And then we're gonna use my injected service in the run method, as you can see here. And finally, just as a little gotcha, you gotta add the function startup attribute somewhere I usually like to add it in my startup class just to let Azure know that, hey, this startup class is actually the function startup class. Now I wanna have a look at the succulent fruits of my labor and actually give this project a run. Chuck it into the URL and bam. We've got a dependency injection Azure functions class running, using the services and just being all around a good dude. And there you have it guys, it's seriously that easy. All I had to do was inherit from the function startup. I used my control full stop method to pull down the NuGet package. And then I just used the function startup attribute to make sure Azure functions knows that this startup class is indeed the correct startup class. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about dependency injection, C Sharp, Azure, all the rest of that sort of shit, let me know. Comment down below what you want to learn about and I'll see you next time. Peace.